Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, my friends at Hazel are still around. They survived pandemic and have sent me a goodie bag. Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Matteo Cavalier. Looks like Cavalier. Uh, Cavalier or Cavalier. C A V E L I E R. And all it says is Matteo Cavalier bought you a coffee. So thank you, Matteo, for hooking me up. Um, I appreciate you. If you want to take care of my coffee, my dark rose habit. Network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to just hook up the channel, super thanks is the way. Link is below. Thank you so, so much, guys. All right. So the guys over at Hazel, well, man, hold on. Dark roast. Equator blend. Nice and strong. Okay. So my friends over at Hazel sent me an email and said, hey, we got some new stuff. I'm like, okay, hook it up. So they sent me, first of all, this cool bag. As you may know, I did a review for them about like two years, maybe a little over two years ago. And I deemed them you know, the best rackets you've never heard of. It is, they are a Australian company. So let me show you the features and benefits of this hazel bag. First of all, check this out. Easy zips. And you got a ring. Don't you love it when it just comes down like that? We got pocket big. Oh, look at that key holder right there. That's a big compartment for your accessories. Hopefully you have enough string reels, grips, or wallets that can, you know, fill that. Maybe a couple cans of balls too. Big compartment over here. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Foil. And I could stick. At least four in there, at least. We got another foil over here on the other side too. Check it out. And of course, those are the frames that they sent me. We can go over them later, but check out the foil pack. So let's see. At least four and at least four on both of the sides. Middle compartment. Oh, we got the goodies stuff in the middle. Uh huh. And, uh, ooh. That was a racket bag. Look at this racket bag. To protect the racket that you buy from them. Nice cinch. Wow, these are well thought out. Look, embroidery, quality. Okay, so back to the middle here. You could stick more rackets in there if you'd like. Probably at least another four to six. So this is considered a 12 pack bag. Shoe compartment is right there. And it goes in right there with the plastic sticking out. So your shoes can go right there. Look at that nice grip right there so that you can just grab and go. Just like your breakfast at Pete's. All right, another compartment on the side. Another compartment on this side, actually. Compartment on this side. Oh, wow. This is the sturdy compartment. This will protect maybe that watch that you own or put that uh, 
iWatch or Rolex Citizen Echo Drive over here. There's a mesh section in there too for your jewelry or watch or whatever. Well thought out. Very, very well thought out bag. They are a Australian company. So not only are they known for Bia, they're known for Hazel. <laughs> Check out the flag. Wow. Very well thought out bag. Very well thought out. Love that bag. So let's get into uh, t-shirt that I'm wearing. Super soft, actually. Look at that. Look at the logoing. Like literally, I feel naked. <laughs> Which is good. Because who wants to feel um, like a sticky shirt on? Okay. Ooh, look at these accessories. Leather grip. Mm. Over grips and their string. I've tried these strings before in the past. They are on the softer side. Uh, this one I can feel the ridges and it's meant for spin. This is a natural hybrid that they put on this one. Uh, they're both, this one feels softer, this one feels a little firmer. So let's check out the specs of these rackets here. They strung it at 48 pounds because they've been watching my videos and uh, we got 300, we got the tour spin in here. So this is a 98, four and a quarter with tacky overgrip. They put a dampener in there, so I'm probably gonna move it down when I hit with it. Um, it is an 18 by 20 pattern, and they customized it for me. See the lead on both sides, weighing it down, just like the first one. They are blacked out. And it says mid plus 98 right there. Okay. And then the 100, which was my favorite last time. It is a 16 by 19 pattern, 100 square inches, strung at 52 on this one just for me. So I recognize that shape. Check it out. That's that signature hazel egg kind of a shape. That's kind of out wider here. They had a nice sweet spot from what I remember. So let's, let's take these out um, to some pros and see what they think of it uh, you know, a couple years later. Is it, is it still the best rackets you've never heard of? Stay tuned. All right, first racket, first stop. First stop on the Hazel Tour is Coach Chris. <laughs> I don't know, what's he doing? Checking, seeing if it flexes? Yeah. Yeah. No, Never seen flexes. Hazel. Hazel. Is it Hay? Hazel. Sill? Hazel. Or yeah, like Hazel hey. the name. Ah, uh -huh, okay. So Coach Chris wasn't around when we did the first go around of the Hazel. So he gets to be the first one on the second go around. So what you have there is the 100, what I have is the 98 that you just tried. Um, you said you liked the 100 more, mm -hmm. talk to me. I think the 100 uh, just has a bit more power and pop to it. Hitting with these rackets, they're a bit on the flexy side. You do have to really swing with this racket. There's no just pushing it. You really have to let that racket go through. And I think again, in terms of flex, I would probably compare it to maybe a bit more like the Clash. It is a lot uh, on the muted side. It could be due to the strings. I would probably prefer this mid plus a bit more than the 98. Than the 98, yes. Just with a little bit added extra power, I think this this racket does provide that. And it comes with they've kind of put lead tape, so they all customize it. They customize it for me. For this guy, <laughs> man. Everything's for Chain. Everything's for Harry. Another, I think Australia, this is probably 
What's the other racket that's from Australia that we... 10X. Yeah, I think I really like that. They're pushing some, some you know, rackets out there to compete with some of the top ones out, um, that are commonly picked up. Definitely recommend this for, you know, someone who's around that 5.0 level, someone who really takes big swings with it. So there you go yeah. for the 100. And there's the 98. 98. I would say probably more like a blade. So this racket is pretty well balanced and it's definitely got a little bit more control and you really have to again swing through this but not as much power as the 100 obviously so um this is also 1820. what are you doing hey coach I'm ricing. I hurt my ankle. So, rice? Ricing. Ricing? Ricing. You mean rest, icing, compression, and elevation? Rice? Eighteen twenty. There you go. This is an eighteen twenty racket there, and that's that's what exactly what I'm feeling. Very, I think, similar thing to ten X two. It's got this kind of bigger neck, longer neck, longer neck, and a very thin beam too as well. Um, and I'm pretty sure that adds to a little bit more of the flex. Flex. Yes. This guy's See, just finishing. Look at this. Sentences. This is wide. This is narrower. Yeah. Look at that. There you go. That's what I would I would say on these there. What I, again, I would recommend both of these for those 5.0 level players. Um, give it a go and try them out. Yep. So, First thing that this reminds me of is a Gravity, Gravity Pro, which I actually like the update of this year. But this has a little more power, I think, and it flexes um, in a different way, maybe in a better way, actually. In the previous one, I liked the 100 more, and I, I do like the 100, but that 1820 ain't bad. I didn't realize it was an 1820 until uh, until I looked at it really hard. Um, the strings really jumped off. The ball really jumped off those strings, actually. So, um, thumbs up for this from Coach Chris. Yeah. All right. Give thumbs up. So five zero and up, according to Coach Chris, you're gonna have to be a pretty good player to play with these. Okay. So, Hazel. Hazel. On the pro track for pro level players. All right, Coach Chris, where can they find you? You can find me at CB Chan Tennis. And that's it. All right, so next stop on the Hazel Tour. I'll see you later. All right, the Hazel Racket tour continues. We got Coach Jared here. Um, you just tried the 98 and the 100. I'm going to hand you the 98 first. A uh, huge fan of this one. So first off, you can tell the amount of lead tape on the racket is a lot. And I do favor having a lot of lead tape on the 3 and 9 positions because it does give the racket a lot more stability. Um, I was a little bit concerned at first because I have done this in the past where I do put a lot of lead tape on the sides and I actually can't swing the frame. Um, but the guys over at Hazel did a great job of actually balancing out the racket in general. So this one gave a ton of pop, ton of response, and I also like the finish on the racket. It's not really like those matte finishes that a lot of companies are doing these days. So I could definitely expect a lot of uh, responsiveness from the racket. At the same time, you got an 18 by 20 string pattern, which means tight spin and tight shots and really good ball placement. Um, so I think Harry had me try to hazel racket way back in the day, maybe like a year or two ago, and I definitely like those ones, and this one might be the update to that same frame. Um, but overall, I think if you guys are looking for some racket customization and maybe some new rackets out there, I think Hazel's definitely a good racket to pick. So big fan of the 98, 18 by 20. But what did you think of the 100? This one is a little more tough. <laughs> I think on my end, again, I've slowly gravitated away towards the 100 square inch head size rackets, mostly just because I can't really control the power anymore. 
Um, I think the thing with this one is that it's a good frame if you're kind of looking for power. Um, the problem is if you're more of a player style player, aka one that kind of looks for more control, I think this one might not be the right fit. Um, but yeah, it's got the classic open string pattern, big head size, and a lot of good plush feel. Um, and again, I think with the amount of weight on the side, it does look like it will be super heavy, but it's not. So I think overall, if you are looking for, again, a new 100 square inch head size racket from a not so big company, this would be a great choice. But for me personally, I just don't know if I'd go with this one. Okay. Yeah, you're, in, I don't, I didn't expect you to like this one, uh, yeah. <laughs> but definitely, definitely the 98 though. Big fan I, of this one. I, I agree with you. It, in the 98, it, if I played a little bit more on a higher level, I would definitely be loving this one right now. Um, unfortunately, I'm old, fat, and ugly, so Damn. <laughs> it's easier <laughs> for me to play with the bigger one. Um, and uh, just a lot more plush for me, a lot more power for me, a lot easier for me to play with the bigger one. So. Hazel continues to do wonderful work. Um, if you haven't heard of them, check them out. Uh, the strings that came with these strings are, are great. Yeah, strings are really good. Very plush, very soft, um, just very comfortable. Actually, the pocketing was definitely there. Um, instant break in, like there wasn't a lot of break in needed. No adjustment period. Yeah. No adjustment period. Yeah. So, so um, thank you, Hazel, for hooking us up again. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. All right. Coach Jared, thank you for uh, trying them out with me. Of course. I of course. appreciate you and your time all the time. <laughs> Fun play tests, always, as always. Where can they find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Ma Tennis. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.